This stratagem is probably one of the most slept on stratagems in the entire game. Have you ever wanted to live out your dream as a knight in space or as a guardian defending your fellow helldivers? Have you ever wanted to tank the power of a thousand stars? Well, sadly, you can't really do that. But what you can do is defending yourself from hundreds if not thousands of murderous tin cans without risking complete annihilation. This bad boy can hold so much concentrated democracy in it that the automatons will be scared to even approach you. Introducing the wall. The build uses four main components. Heavy armor, preferably with blast resistance, the explosive crossbow, thermite grenades, and then the star of the show, the ballistic shield. This build is very flexible and can handle most things. The crossbow works as both of a nest slash fabricator destroyer and is amazing at dealing with medium to big size board and disposes devastators and their bugger equivalent with ease. On top of that, the crossbow is a one-handed weapon, meaning that you can hold objectives like the SSSD or, you guessed it, the Ballistic Shield whilst using the crossbow. This lets you fight back against oncoming fire whilst protecting your tiny cranium from being pulverized by lasers. The thermite grenades are used for bigger targets such as hulks, tanks, or even fabricators if you're approaching them from an odd angle. You can choose any secondary of your choice, but running a weapon that complements the slow fire rate but high damage crossbow will be the best option, like the verdict, the redeemer, the starter pistol, or hell even the dagger. The main weakness with this build is explosives. What the fuck? Knockback and melee units due to the shield not working super efficiently if you're, you know, on the ground not covering yourself with it. And because melee units have a tendency to not attack the shield at all and instead rush at your jugulars in order to slice them off. But you can keep your little hive lord intact and keep your CO1 permit by subscribing. It is completely free and you can always change your mind later. The shield can also sometimes fly out of your hands whenever you get knocked around or shot across huge areas if blasted away. This mainly happens whenever you dive from a height and enter a ragdoll state that way. And less whenever you get knocked down from enemies. But now you've reached the end of this video, let me know what you guys think about the shield after all the buffs, the weapons I've gotten and so on and so forth in the comments down below. Also, let me know what build that you guys use for fun whenever you get bored in Helldivers to just spice up the game a little bit. Give me the details from weapons to passives on armor to, to the stratagems you use. Because I have a plan for one of my next upcoming videos where I will be trying out your builds on video to essentially rate them and give you guys some fun ideas to do on your own. But without further ado, hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>